Hi there. We're going to do a, a quick demonstration on how to migrate the items that you've already added to inventory to the new categories that are created by consignment. So what I went ahead and did is I've logged into clover.com slash home and it uh, asks for your Clover username and password to get you logged in. From there, what you'll need to do is open two new tabs. Um, I'm going to click on inventory because that's where we'll be doing some of our work. And this will just open up Clover's uh, standard inventory tool. And I'm going to go back to this main tab and open a tab for consignable. Now, uh, before we signed up with consignable in this scenario, I created a category called stall 36, and I added some items to it for this vendor who's going to be in our system. When I logged into consignable, however, I created a, and I came in and created this vendor called Tester's Guy. I also gave the name stall 36. And so what I ended up with in here is actually two categories called stall 36. You'll see they happen to be right next to each other here, but that's not very helpful. Um, if you go to the categories tab, you'll see they're both in. Now there's an important way to distinguish between the two of them, and it's this ID number. So this cat stall 36 is 5J31 whatever, and this one is T7YPT. If we go back over to consignable, you'll see that this category is TY7, T, T7YP. So this is the category that we want to keep. Um, and in, in all likelihood, all of your items will be on this one, the wrong category. So I'm going to click edit, and I'm just going to put the word gold on the end of this category. The goal being is that we can distinguish between the stall 36 things that have my items on it and the stall 36 one that does not. So if we go back to items, um, it seems to load the last category you're looking at. But if it doesn't, you can pull down this list and choose stall 36 gold. Now, once you've done that, you'll see all the items that you've already added, and you can choose select all. And from here, you'll see that they're all in stall 36 old. You can choose from this drop down and add stall 36. Now, I would not remove the stall 36 old until you've gotten, until you know this is all set up correctly. Um, and as a, a, an important note, select all is only select all things on the screen, not select all things in the category. So if you have more results than will fit on the screen, you may need to do this action several times. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now these items will have the consignable category called stall 36 on them, as well as the one that you created in the past. Now, consignable uh, won't be notified by Clover that you've made that change. So they're a program that runs each night and will catch up the next day when those changes have been made. And so uh, the next day, we'll be able to come into Clover Inventory and see if these items, the grass widget and the hat, have been added to consignable, but it will not happen immediately. Once you know all of those items have been transferred over, then you can go back to the Clover category, the Clover Inventory tool, go to Categories, and grab Stall 36, 36 Old, open it, see that everything in here has been migrated over. And then from, uh, you can also delete it. So I'm going to uh, cancel and I'm going to delete stall 36 old. And that way your categories stay clean, your items, your category list seems relevant. Um, and so you'll see now the correct one is stall 36 miscellaneous item, which is an item created by consignable, and the poofy hat and the brass widget. And that should be the trick for you.